Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so it's Sunday morning about 8.24 a.m. I'm gonna see if I can have this out by 10 a.m. for you guys to check out. Uh, just got a quick unboxing and I'm gonna do a couple shots of this. Um, you guys are gonna be seeing an awful lot of this in upcoming episodes. It is this monster 35 inch uh, curved screen monitor from BenQ. I don't even know if I can lift it up here or not. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, this thing's just insanely big. I hope I can get it to fit on my desk. Should be interesting to see. Um, so thought we'd do a quick little unbox and uh, just a little quick review on it and see what it's all about here. Hey, look at this. Instructions on how to attach the stand. Good idea. Okay, packaging looks pretty freaking solid. Oh, there's even a disc. Too bad I don't have a disc drive anymore. I got rid of that years ago. Power brick. HDMI cable, very good. Now I've got an older Dell 27 back here. It's been a good monitor, it's been a good, good for grading. I've had it for about six, seven years now. But you can't do resolutions over 1080 on it over HDMI, so I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, yeah, another power brick and, or another power cable, USB-C and another HDMI it looks like, yep. Oh no, this is DisplayPort, very cool. All right, so we got all that. That's gonna be great. Let's see what we get here. And will it fit on the desk? That's the big question. I have to take the old one off, obviously. Oh, the, the stand's already attached. That's a big win. So yeah, obviously, yeah, the monitor's not quite as big as the box because they gotta get all that styrofoam around. It's got a bit of heft here. Holy crap, that is, that is fairly heavy. And, oh, let's take a look at this. Holy shit, that's heavy. <laughs> um, apparently you can visa mount these things. So you're gonna, if you wanna like put it on an arm or something, you're gonna need something pretty fucking heavy duty. Hey, good idea. Look at the packaging here. Okay, BenQ is not fucking around when it comes to this. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I, I'm really hoping to get to check that out. Oh, they're really taking the screen protection seriously on this. That is great. Oh, look at that. Ooh, this is a new type of, uh, this isn't an IPS panel, so it's gonna be a lot contrasty, and I'm hoping the color gamut is big enough for me to do my basic grades and whatnot. But then again, I'm personally colorblind, so I'm really wondering how much those numbers really matter to a guy like me. But uh, yeah, I like the features, you know, it's got this nice stand with a hole in the, through it so you can actually, you know, move your cables through and whatnot. That's gonna be cool. Does this tilt? Yeah, it's got a pretty decent tilt. Obviously, I don't think it's gonna rotate. No, you're, so you're not gonna be doing portrait mode with this anytime soon. But it goes up, it goes down, and it, and it tilts. That's what she said. Anyway, I'm gonna throw this on the desk in a sec and we'll see what happens. This is gonna be terrifying. All right, so I've got the monitor installed and I gotta admit, it's pretty wicked. Just threw on Elite Dangerous, just to be quick with it, just to check it out. But I absolutely love the fact that I have all this desktop space freed up. And I've even got my crappy little mixer in the back here, tucked away so I can do my guitar stuff, but it's not taking up any extra desktop space. Now I've got room for more important things, you know, like coffee. Now if you check this out, this is from my sitting position. I've got my Song 232 mix up here right now, and this has got every single fader available at my fingertips here. I don't have to scroll through anything for the entire mix and I've still got room to spare. How freaking cool is that? That's every track ready to go right at my fingertips. That's great. That's one of the reasons I wanted one of these ultra wide monitors. And the big one for me, this is Adobe Premiere. This is what I work in and suddenly I've got all this extra screen real estate. How freaking cool is that? Now I don't have to, you know, scroll over and, and whatnot. Everything's right where I need it. And we got a great big display, which we can make big. It's hilarious though. Now it's like watching old movies on, um, on a widescreen now, because this is like 16 to nine. Um, I'm shot in 16 to nine and the uh, display resolution 
is you know just like super super wide so that's gonna get a t take a, a little bit of getting used to but i'm still just blown away by this by the way yes this is the new stupid musician texts which should be out wednesday okay so i've got the monitor installed i've got it hooked up via display port that was pretty much a no-brainer uh the controls are cool just the second button seems to shut the display down which seems to be really weird so i've just kind of like got a mental note there don't hit that second button i would not know if that switches the source over to hdmi or what but the screen goes black for a couple seconds and then it comes back up that's my one complaint so far with this thing other than that it's great um i did do a calibration here with my uh data color spider 4 to uh, get this thing set for grading. And it's measured the color space at 98% of sRGB, which is what photos and videos live on, especially on the web. So you can count on your colors to be pretty damn accurate. As far as contrast ratios go, it's a little bit better than uh, my Dell here, which is an IPS display. This is one of the newfangled displays. That's why they can curve it and do all that cool stuff. But so far, so good. I'm loving how it looks for games. I'm loving it in Reaper. And it looks like it's going to be exceptionally cool for Premiere as well, which was my big concern, which is because that's what I'm spending most of my time on these days is Reaper and Premiere. Um, if I ever get a chance to play games again, I will let you guys know. All right, so if you guys want to check out the BenQ, I will have links in the description below. As always, it's definitely a cool product worth checking out. I'll have some Amazon links on there for you. Um, and just a little footnote uh, for those of you guys wondering what's going on with the Demented Metal cover song contest, I will be having an episode on that in the very near future, giving you guys an update. I think I'm just going to extend the relate uh, the deadline because I need to catch up with a bunch of stuff here, especially post TGU. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check out Stupid Musician Text coming out on Wednesday. We're going to have a lot of guests on there. Uh, a lot of people who are at TGU participated. It was a lot of fun and i know how much you guys love that series it's gonna be great make sure you check it out take care i'll see you guys next time